done building, finished building the dock and putting the roof over the top of part of it and my boat ramp and boat lift system. Uh, I'm going to be putting solar panels on top of the roof, probably about two or three of them, uh, maybe four. If they're 100 amp or 100 watt panels, I'll probably put four of them on it. Um, and probably increase the batteries by one battery because my boat lift is going to operate on 12 volt system also and plus I'm going to put a 2000 watt inverter down here and that'll be able to power a small refrigerator all day every day lights and whatever I need down here I just now um, this box has been what I'm working on right now is this box heats up at night, or I mean during the day when the sun's out, it, it blisters in here. It's probably over 125 degrees inside this box. So what I've done uh, this afternoon, I went ahead and put this uh, half inch foam insulation in. Um, I bought it from, it's a sheet. I cut it out to inset it in the lid and then I put it in with that spray foam. That'll help. Uh, that'll also help keep the heat out. And that spray foam will adhere to this box and everything. I'm probably going to wind up lining the whole inside of this box with that uh, uh, insul sheet insulation also. Uh, one of the things I'm working on right now it gets so hot in this one of the things if you uh, that will really shorten the length the, the life span of a battery is heat so that's what I'm trying to get to uh, try to expel heat out of this box and what I did I went and bought two three inch uh, computer fans and it's these here I bought these online for about about three or four dollars a piece. They were pretty cheap, and I've got one already mounted. I'll show you there on the inside here. I got one mounted. I don't have it hooked up yet, but I'm going to, and show you the outside of the box. It's got a little a little uh, screen there to keep bugs out, keep dust out, and you can pop the top off this here. And just wash it wash that out every now and then if you want i'm putting that one there and i'm also going to put another one probably right around probably on the front side of this thing let me back my chair up i'm probably going to cut a hole somewhere down in here a three inch hole with a hole saw and put another one in fans in there so that uh, and the whole idea is this one here is going to be blowing inside it's going to be blowing against the battery and to kind of bring fresh air from the outside and to help cool the battery down this one over here i'm going to run it backwards and expel the air out of it so i'll have one bringing fresh air in and one expelling hot air out I'm hoping that the insulation will lower the temperature in the box anyway, but I wanted to give all the electronic components uh, a way to kind of keep cool. And to operate that, it's going to operate on this battery. The fans are going to operate on that. But I bought this little circuit board, and I just mounted it on this piece of uh, 1x4, and I'm going to mount this inside the box here I'll mount it down there and put a couple screws on the bottom down there what this electronic control device is it's a thermostat I bought this thing on uh, I, bu I bought a lot of electronics in the past for uh, all electronics no this is not a commercial for all electronics but they just they just have a lot of a lot of things that you can buy if you deal with electronics at all which I used to um, a few years back and you can buy the stuff wholesale and dirt cheap this 
little circuit board was probably about, I think it was like six bucks, something like that. And it's got a little temperature sensor that's already pre-wired. This will be uh, attached to the battery. And what I'll do is I'll probably just take a uh, some kind of a tape or something and I'll actually lay it on top of the battery, you know, somewhere like this. And I'll put tape down on it so it'll monitor the temperature of the battery. And this is supposed to be programmable to where, say like if it gets over 85 degrees inside the box, it'll cut the fan zone and um or if it goes over 80 85 whatever the temperature i desire it'll do that so anyway that's a that's the plan i'm not sure if it's going to work out like i want to but we're going to try it and we're going to see but uh we'll let you know the outcome it's pretty cool and that's it for now